Hello, uh, this is going to be a tut speedrun tutorial for the Eclipse Skip. Uh, if you don't know, Eclipse Skip is basically a very big skip, which essentially skips this uh, 55 minute video of basically Brian Morty just talking to you about Easter eggs for about 55 minutes. Uh, this is... Uh, perhaps one of the most complicated glitches that we know of, and it's also the most inconsistent out of all uh, tricks that we have discovered in the game. Uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and teach you about Eclipse Skip. So first we want to just start like a new game, and immediately we want to start by racking up a total of 59 points. Now you might be asking, what are points? In in the game. Well, essentially, points is basically the sum of the total amount of panels, the total amount of EPs, and total amount of obelisks you have solved. So for this example, our total points is 664, basically the max points you can get in a save file uh, through legitimate means. Now, why is this important? Well, it's to abuse the game's autosave feature. So for every 60 points that you rack up, uh, a new save will be created. That save is basically the uh, sort of like the uh, uh, splits between your current save and your legacy split legacy save. Uh, just in case if anything happens to the current save, you just go back to your previous save, and everything will be fine. Now we're going to abuse that autosave feature. Uh, so first off, we're going to go ahead and rack up 59 points. Uh, the way that we do that is just pretty simple. Uh, and essentially, it utilizes the route of 99.8%. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and teach you the route for uh, the 99.8% route. You should probably already be familiar with 99.8% routes before you've gotten into uh, uh, 100%. But just in case if you don't know uh, what the route for 99.8%, the basically you start with tutorial, grab everything there, uh, and then you get to Blast Factory and grab everything there. And that's essentially what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up until we finish Class Factory. So oh, we'll see you there. So after we finish Glass Factory, we want to go ahead and go ahead and straight to Windmill. So essentially, uh, we have racked up a lot of points, below, but still below 60. So we're going to get our remaining points once we get into theater. So we're going to go ahead, uh, go ahead and open this door to Windmill and activate the control panel. Now you can choose an alternative, uh, which is Orchard 1, if basically the first panel for Orchard, if you want to have a much more consistent uh, windmill cycle. Uh, it's just that if you want to redo the control panel just so that we don't need to walk back. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, open this door. And we're gonna go ahead and do this in order. Solve tutorial a uh, video and play the video so that it shows the artwork. Grab an artwork EP. Then go ahead and grab the amino acids EP. Then we go ahead and do desert video. Uh, this is jungle video. This is shipwreck video and mountain video. 
Uh, once they're there, uh, we are now at 59 total solves. Again, 59 is important because that is our main goal from the start. Uh, and we are one more point away from the game to autosave and split saves. So, after we got 59 points, we want to go ahead and do a quick pause. So that our save doesn't go ahead and set Boy, back you by like a minute. You. So quick save, and then solve for Eclipse. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, now you can see that we previously initially started with two saves, now we have three saves. This is the current save that we are on, and this is the legacy save. Basically the same run, it's just that uh, it is before the 60 point mark. So we're going to abuse that. We're going to go to this legacy save, open that, and we're going to solve uh, Eclipse video. And then we're going to go back to our save, open the legacy save again, again the one with the 50 and 9, plus 9, and do this three more times. So, Eclipse, go to save. Open save. Eclipse. Load game. Open save. And Eclipse. It's working. Now, you should have a total of five saves that are. that have like the Eclipse video inputted. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and pause at the sun portion of the video. So, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and draw a line all the way to this corner on in the panel. Just to just make sure that the sun in the video is a full circle, which means that it is a valid start for the EP. And we're going to go ahead and do our parse menu, load, get, load a save, and then we're going to open the fifth from from the top. The save fifth from the top so one two three four five this is a save that we're gonna open we're gonna open that and this video is paused notice that you don't hear any music we don't hear Brian Morarity the video is now paused but we're gonna still open our menu load a game and again we're gonna open from the top open fifth from the top so one two three four five this is a save we're gonna open open that we're gonna do this two more times. So again, fifth on top, bam. One more time, fifth from top, bam. Doing that ensures that all five videos, all five saves, are paused at the sun. Now we're gonna do something similar, except we're gonna pause at the eclipse portion of the video. So we're gonna go ahead and start this panel. Uh, we're gonna put our cursor right here in this corner to ensure that it is a valid ending point for Eclipse. Go to our menu, and again, fifth from top, open that save, and we do it three more times. Again, fifth from top. And now all of the video, all of the saves are paused at this corona portion of the video. Now we're gonna do this again from the top. We're gonna go ahead and go to the sun portion and then open the fifth save from the top four times. And now, we're gonna go ahead and pause the corona part. Now you might notice that there's a pattern. Every time when we pause uh, at a specific point, every single video will be paused at the exact same point. For instance, uh, and we're gonna pause at Eclipse. And we are gonna expect that the save that we are gonna open will also be paused at the Eclipse part. So again, fifth on top. Eclipse is paused, so. This, e this video is also paused at Eclipse. We do it again. Fifth from top. This is the second time. Also, 
Pause at Eclipse. Th third time. Fifth on top. Also pause at Eclipse. Fourth time. You know the pattern. Wait. It's not paused at Eclipse. It's paused at the sun. And this is very important because that means that the setup worked. This this video now is now in a confused state where you see that the sun is paused even though you pa the last pause you made was eclipse or the corona portion right here and this means that this uh, uh you just tricked the game into just showing the sun even though it's supposed to be paused at the eclipse portion so why is this important well is to basically make the eclipse skip instantaneous now how does the game basically just go from sun to corona in a snap well that's where we get into the randomness territory um so basically the sun will not turn into a corona unless the sound entity at, uh, storage uh, is overflowed. So basically, sounds you make, walking, going on to solve mode, going out of solve mode, solving panels, listening to birds in jungle, listening to shipwreck noises in uh, shipwreck. Those uh, uh, add up to the uh, sound entity, but but once the sound entity reaches a limit and overflows, then this video right here, this sun, will immediately turn into a corona in a snap. Now, again, this is very random because you want to be at uh, the Eclipse CP uh, uh, before that switch happens. Otherwise, you won't be able to start the EP if uh, it's at, if the if the state of the video is at the Corona portion. Now, what do we do next after we set up the video? Well, it's very simple. We just leave. <laughs> Um, that is basically the current route for 100% when we do Eclipse Skip. So basically, we're just going to go ahead, solve some of the uh, puzzles around. And essentially, where we're going to go ahead is that we're going to go to Orchard, solve everything there. Symmetry, solve everything there. And then go to Qu Query, Treehouse, Keep, uh... Shadows, Query Laser, Desert, and then back to town. And when we do that, uh, after we do stuff there in our route, we then go back to Eclipse CP and then snag that EP. So this is going to be a change of route for me because this is a demonstration of what's supposed to happen. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and do Symmetry Island and Query Only. Um, so right now, I'll be right back. Hi, uh, so this is going to be a brief intermission. So basically, uh, from our current route that we do 100%, you will be most likely be going through the tunnels after you got a finished desert. Uh, this is because we found a snipe that just basically allows us to go to post-game tunnels uh, by sniping, doing a ridiculous snipe. Well, essentially, uh, after you did the snipe, uh, you go onto this catwalk. Um, and you will be pass being able to see uh, stuff in the video 
in this control panel. Um, there are two states you want to look for uh, so that you can restart a bit early, if, just in case if Eclipse skip happened before you came to Eclipse CP. So if it's in this state uh, right here where you see Eclipse uh, EP in full white, that means that tells you that uh, you should continue run and uh, basically you can uh, the run has a chance of surviving. However, let's just say that you missed your opportunity to grab Eclipse EP. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video at that state. So if you missed your opportunity to grab Eclipse EP and you go onto the catwalks uh, after desert, You will see uh, very gray squares. If you only see gray, gray squares and don't see like a very bright square in the panels right here, uh, that means you missed Eclipse CP and you are forced to reset. Um, so yeah, this is that's a brief information. Okay, now we're gonna go back to town. So once we are back in town, uh, we want to go back to Eclipse CP after we solve the transparent panel. And go ahead, run straight to Eclipse CP and then start solving. Now you will need to wait, but there's a, a tech that you can speed up Eclipse CP. So what you want to do is that once you start Eclipse EP, you want to hold your menu button. This menu button is, uh, holding the menu button causes the menu to open and close in rapid succession. S and what basically happens is that uh, by doing so, you are increasing the uh, sound entity by a lot, faster than just waiting uh, on Eclipse CP. So it's not guaranteed that it will be uh, close to or f close to instant close to instantaneous or quick, but it just helps to speed up Eclipse CP. Now I would say though that you might know that notice that this Eclipse EP is not going to be quick. That is because, uh, for demonstration, I decided to do um, Symmetry Island and Query only. So this will take some time. And another thing to note is that if, again, if you, if you come to Eclipse EP and you notice that the state is at the Corona state or the Eclipse states of the video, that means you cannot start Eclipse EP and therefore you can't not you failed Eclipse skip. So yeah, we'll wait for a little bit until Eclipse EP uh, until the video has changed. Uh, once Eclipse has changed, uh, you can go ahead and grab it. And 
that is basically Eclipse Skip. It is definitely one of the most ludicrous skips in the game, uh, alongside the any percent skip. But yeah, that is basically an Eclipse Skip, skipping a uh, whopping 55-minute video. <laughs> All right. 